Don't you know it is how I get quiet when there's no one else around me and you in awkward silence. How I wish you'd wake up one day, run to me, confess your love, at least just let me say. the jazziness of that song and, and the way you controlled your voice and broke down certain pieces of it. You was very confident, you were happy, you were excited. You took this moment and you made the most out of it by having that control. Thank you, Snoop. Hey, I thought it was great. I just knew I didn't have a chance when these three started turning. <laughs> I love your range. You've got a lightness about your voice that you're just feeling like you're free to go wherever you want to, and it was just beautiful. That means so much. So much respect to you. Thank you. I feel like I could be such a good coach for you. <laughs> I just know it. And I'll tell you why, because your heart just feels really open, like you're just taking this all in. You're so positive. You could hear it in your performance, you have so much potential. Like, I know exactly what to do to help you. I dreamed of you saying exactly that. Like, I, one of my earliest memories of singing is singing karaoke with my dad, who, who passed away from cancer um, oh almost God. three years ago. Um, and so, like, feeling my dreams come true right now, I feel his presence with me say so it, much. Say it, baby, say it. Say he's with you, say it. No, he's with you. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Okay. You did something that just blew my mind. You made that song so yours. If this isn't the journey I'm supposed to take with an artist who can break through from jazz to pop to whatever the hell else it is, it's gotta be us. This is what I do, this is who I am, that's who you are. Like literally, you know it, I think you know it. I know what you mean, but I feel something as well. I've talked to, to Leve so much about her having this wonderful chance of keeping this stuff alive. And I think you and I can do that together too. Oh my gosh. Pretty good, pretty good. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh wait my a minute, gosh, wait a minute. What's a girl to do? I'm going to <laughs> gracefully say that it looks like you should be with Gwen because it just feels. <laughs> I don't want to sound like favoritism. I'm just saying, California, she said. I was going to say your that. Your dream Snoop. came true. I'm in your head right now. Yeah. <laughs> The, the dream came true before your eyes. I have to get out the way. Oh, I mean, Snoop is uh, going to bat for Gwen. I'm kind of thinking Michael might be pretty good. Oh, my gosh. I don't think you can make a wrong choice. I think you can make a wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> you have a dream? My dream is to be your coach. Ooh. OK? No, I'm just saying, like, don't be stupid. Come on. Who do you pick as your coach? I'm listening to what my brothers are sending me, and I'm listening to what my dad is sending me. I choose Gwen. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm so excited about her. What I loved most besides her voice was just her spirit. She was so excited. She was so hopeful.